everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a non-face mask related video today. So today I thought I'd bring a video, I've been thinking of doing this for a while, and this is how to dry your gifted flowers. I got this bouquet for my mother on my birthday, which was like two weeks ago, and um, they're just starting to, you know, kind of keel over, which is the right time in my opinion. Um, this sunflower, I actually didn't even notice that it was already like this. So I'm, I'm not going to be able to save that because it just, it, it died too quickly. But um, all the rest of these are still in pretty good condition. And the thing about drying flowers is that you can do it in a couple different ways. You could like put one of these inside of a book and like just close the book and have it dry like that. But of course you are going to have squished flowers, but those are great if you wanna do some kind of framed flat artwork with them or put them you know, in some kind of artwork where they're in a shadow box or they're, they're just in a, a frame and they're being squished and you wanna display them that way. So that's one way. Another way you can do this is put them like in a box and cover them with sand and let them dry out naturally like that. But I would say not to do that on flowers like this because these are really delicate um, so do air with caution on that technique, but the one I'm going to show you today is how to dry them and put them away in your closet. That will retain a lot of the color. If you try and dry these and they're exposed to fluorescent light, the sunlight, it's going to make them look brown and really, really nice. Here we are. You're going to need some string or rubber band, something, something to tie them. We're going to bundle them together. So at this point, it's been a while. You're gonna pick out what can be salvaged, what can't be. These kind of went first. I don't know why. Usually I can save them, but whatever. So I have these. Uh, there was a rose actually in here that I'm kind of upset. I didn't even know I had a rose in this bouquet. Uh, yeah, but great. And I, you know, the, the branch is already like blackened and I'll, I'll just save this. I'm just gonna save that. Cause I do make my own rose water. So this, this is still good in that sense for that purpose. So I'm just gonna just take like the best looking ones that are still kind of alive and not wilted too bad. Which is this bunch. So I'm going to get some string and I'm going to wrap it tightly around here. Let me tie it off. So I tie it once, come over and under, and then come back around to tie it again. Ugh, that vase water stinks. God. Okay. And then you have like a long tail like this. What I'm going to do is try and make a loop at the top because this loop you'll see right now, I'll have it go over a hanger, the hook of a hanger, and that'll be how it, you know, hangs, holds itself. Okay, well, I'm making a knot, but as you can see, like it made a big loop and I'm, I'll show you right now. I'll put this over the hanger and if you have it tight and wrapped tight enough, you should be able to hang this upside down in your closet. Now here I've shoved aside this closet because my son really doesn't wear his clothes <laughs> right now, especially since we're like homeschooling. So all his school clothes, you know, whatever. So basically what I'm saying is pick a closet that you might not enter mm, much for the next two weeks or so. See how I, I did that loop and I'm suspending it over the, or wrapping it around the, the hanger. So I really like this method. If you are going to be in a closet that you enter a lot and light will enter this closet, uh, I could also suggest a suggestion is to wrap your bouquet in like a cone, kind of the way they, they present it at the store when you buy it, but wrap it in like some brown paper 
so that way it doesn't get exposed to light because the more light that's exposed to it as it's drying the more it'll impact the color like the final outcome of everything and we want to try and keep as much color as you know possible doing this um so i'm going to leave it like this also don't touch it as it's drying you know it is drying it will be brittle in the end during the process some flat plants might get drier than others so if you touch it you don't want to break your what you're trying to get done here okay so i'm going to put this in here and we'll come back in a while i'll let you know Oh, hey, welcome back. It's been like three weeks, four weeks. I will double check the last video posting date in my camera roll. See how long ago this actually was. So here is the final result of drying in this closet. Like I said before, um, since quarantine, we don't really enter this closet much. So I knew this would be the perfect place to dry my flowers. So. Let me try and get this camera to focus on these flowers. Okay, so more or less, um, it retained a lot of the green color in the stems and the f leaves as well as the flowers. Normally, if you had just let this dry out, like whatever, they would have turned yellow and brownish. So keeping it in the dark does retain a lot of its color. And then look how, how vibrant these yellows and, and the purples are, <clears throat> which I do like. Of course, these flowers, these particular flowers that I dried, they are going to be a little more delicate. So when I, I snip the rope up top, I'm just going to be very careful when I go ahead and separate all of them. So let me just kind of show you what I intend to do with this bunch. Okay, so I want to show you some examples of stuff I've done with dried flowers in the past. Um, one of these I'm about to show you, I do have a video and I will post it in the description below, which is just like how to do like a bell jar terrarium. So I have, so I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I have some fabric scissors to cut the, the string to release my bunch. So I'm going to cut that real quick. And then try and carefully take it off. Hopefully you don't get too much breakage, but I'm going to start slowly separating my flowers so I can see kind of like how many of what color do I have what am I dealing with what breaks what can I use what can't I use um, oh these are really pretty okay I was able to extract it cool so I have a lot of these purple ones so some let me show you this so I still have this one and I made this bell jar terrarium. And this, these are just some ideas you could do with your dried flowers. Um, if you're choosing not the squish and dry method, like in between a book, which those are great for too, because you can just dry them in a book. And then when, once they're flattened, you can make really pretty little art pieces inside like a picture frame or something where obviously stuff has to be flat, right? So that's really pretty too. I haven't done one of those in like a really long time. I mostly enjoy keeping my flowers in their same structure. But I like this and I found this butterfly on the floor. So I have that bell jar terrarium, like I said, tutorial on my channel and I will po post the link in. And if you're wondering where I got the bell jar, I got that at, at Ikea. Same thing here at Ikea. This is just another idea that I had. I love roses. Um, I have other tutorials about how I use roses and like astringents and stuff like that. I make my own rose water. But you know, every so often I'm just like, I need to put my roses somewhere. So those, are some, those are some ideas. But what I'm gonna do here with these flowers is I have this really cool uh, um, owl vase that I found at the thrift store a long time ago. They were roses that I didn't dry correctly and I just let them dry up in their vase, like whatever. So they were like, you know, they, they were like sad, crappy looking roses. So I'm gonna update this. And I'm just gonna choose my flowers. Um, to cut the stems of these flowers, I am using like gardening shears, just because you get such a cleaner, it's just an easier cut, but you can use kitchen scissors or whatever to cut them. I mean, it's it's fine, but 
I'm just trying to make my life a little bit easier and I have garden shears, so I'm gonna use it. So my bathroom is, it's a lot of browns. I'm gonna stay away from these yellows. I think that's just gonna, I think, let, let me see. I'm digging these purples and these, these red and oranges right now. I am digging these. So let me go ahead and I just kind of, Gotta measure it because you don't want your you don't want them to be like so long where it just looks nuts, you know. Um, and then we have a compost heap. You could throw these in the compost heap. Making a video. Okay, and then I'm gonna take these. Same thing. Let me see how are we doing. This is this is where I'm where I'm at at the moment. Let me move this out of the way. This is a really weird vase, um, and I've seen this vase come up before. In like I thought something had broken off of it, but I've seen this vase come up on like Etsy searches when I look for owl stuff. And that's the way it's supposed to be. I just think it's like a really strange way to have a vase. Like that's just weird to me, but whatevs. I gotta cut all these thin ones off because this, the main stem is just, it's too, too big. It's just too big, you know? Well, that's cute let me against my better judgment let me try let me see if this this will even stay these are really delicate pick out the best the best looking one from the bunch one that's not so sad kind of use the other flowers I'll do like a like a weekend at Bernie's thing to help prop up this little yellow one let me try and I'll try and shove as much as I can in this small vase opening okay the weekend at Bernie thing is is it's working it's working I do wish I had some more red ones though. Let me see. Can I do I have room to shove it anymore? Can I cheat? I'm trying to split this because it's so thick. I want to try and put this whole thing. Oh, perfect. In the vase. Uh, all right, let me see if this worked. No, oh, it worked. Yes. Well, that's cute. I do save my dried flowers, so I'll probably put them up somewhere else. I have lots of vases in my house. I have these weird little um, like crevices. Let me try and explain to you. Do you, do you see do you see up here I just put junk up there but I try and make it like cohesive I have it like all around my house um, it, it's everywhere so that's how I decorate my house so I do have vases all over the place I just need my ladder just to put these away until I think of something better and they don't go to waste and I get to appreciate them forever um, so I have these these left but there's my ideas. Um, that's how you dry some flowers in your closet that way. If you wanna see a video on how to maybe do the dried in a book, smash it, dry it way, and then do like some kind of art in a frame, let me know. All right, well, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you like this. This is a variety channel. I do all kinds of stuff on this channel because I'm just a person of many interests. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day, bye.